Ah, it's actually raining and I'm currently hiding in my little storage hut. But hello, welcome back to Create Super Flat Survival. Yes, this is part five and I'm Tarot's Probs. And yes, we got a little bit of a uh, things to do today. <laughs> Just a tad, Dad. Yeah, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things I want to do. Yeah, I might be a bit optimistic, probably. Um, But yeah, first of all, what we're going to do is go ahead and actually get ourselves some decent armor on because we are going to actually go into the nether and uh, attempt to get ourselves a blaze as well i should probably start thinking about actually getting better um a gear now i'm actually going to go ahead and make the copper sword though because we've actually got enough to do that and that is actually a quest so this thing is actually better than the stone sword look 5 1.6 6 1.6 so yeah this is actually a bit better but not only that it is actually a quest so we're going to get some monies Woohoo! And next is to go ahead and make ourselves a zinc sword. Now, in order for us to actually go... Oops, I could put that in there. There we go. In order for us to get actually get some zinc, we can actually buy it from here. But we can also buy it for a thousand. Oh, my God. He's doing it. There we go. And let's upgrade this again. Oh, what is that? Quality tool handle. I didn't even know that was a thing. There we go. So this is a little bit better, but it's actually more like a little dagger but it's a little bit faster that's all let me take that perfect next is to make a brass sword now we do not really have access to brass as such yet now i didn't actually even at all put it in the shop at all so another thing i should probably make is a shield right um this isn't something i normally would make um being a minecraft player i don't really use a shield a lot but as i'm loving this series so much and i don't want a gg uh, i should probably go ahead and do this so yeah you're gonna laugh at me right now but i don't honestly know how to craft a shield oh there we go okay we, we won't talk about that uh, we'll just turn that off there we go okay so we're gonna try to oh i can't actually just get some milk can i <laughs> i was about to say i'm gonna go and find a cow to go and milk but i've never seen a cow in this world yet so yeah that's completely out the window oh, by the way i've actually upgraded this a little bit there's more sales attached to this now and uh yeah thank you very much everyone for the kind comments and stuff on the last episode Yes, I'm a bit of a donkey. I can use um, a wool on this, I believe. I think I can double this up. But at the same time, guys, you've got to remember, I'm not a create expert. I'm only a, a beginner slash amateur <laughs> create person. I've mainly played it in um, 1.16 days. Um, so things have actually changed quite a lot. But there's my actual blaze burner. Look, perfect. So, hell yeah, I've just gone ahead and got the advancement for getting my first ever iron pickaxe in this world. <laughs> Uh, we're only on day, what, 66, and we've only just got an iron pickaxe. How awful is that? But yeah, I'm going to actually rock the stone one there. But yeah, I've kind of just been cleaning up my inventory a bit. I've realized I probably don't need to actually take the actual bucket. By the way, all of this is all still working as intended. Okay, there's um, a $10,000 just sat right there in that. And if I go down here, obviously I've increased the speeds a bit now. Oh, what's happened here? Something's happened. So it's just clicked my mind. I know what's actually happened down here. I've kind of just come down, start rearranging things and looking at things and like, why does this gearbox have to be off now? This doesn't make any sense. And yeah, it all makes sense to me now. Do you know why? Do you know why, why, why? It's because this is spinning the other way around because I decided I'm an idiot. I, I just decided I wanted to see what happens if it looks the other way? <laughs> And that's what I did. So yeah, if you hold your finger on this, you can change the spinning direction. But that also spins all the cogs down the bottom the other way. Dan, you idiot. <laughs> so yeah, if that ever happens to you, you'll you'll know why as well. Oh god. Why am I such a legend? I don't know. I think everything should be working as it should be now. Oh god, I'm so stupid. Yeah, we got we got Flint going in there. We got Flint going in there. Yeah, it's going in there. It's just coming out so fast, that's all. And is there gravel going in there? Yes, there is. Okay, and that should be producing monies. Nice. Okay, all back to being how it should be. But before I do go into the nether, what I want to do is actually mark off where I'm actually going to claim all these chunks. Um, this is because so then it will actually load while I'm actually playing in the nether, if you know what I mean. So this is all basically going to be working as I'm exploring. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'll be basically making money while I'm uh, uh, basically just hunting down and doing nevery things. I think I'm ready for the nether, guys. Oh no, I'm really scared. This is make or break today. And before I do go in, let's just do something like that. There we go. So we don't actually accidentally walk through this thing. There we go. I've got everything I need, I think. I've got seven arrows. That's all I've got. Oh god, there's an enderman right away. But we've got my golden helmet on. It's all okay. Um, all we need to do is somehow locate this fort. Now, I did already make a marker for this. Um, okay. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard in theory. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's over there. What? Okay. Ooh, there's some create blocks here. Scorch here. I think that's how you pronounce that. Nice. Bit of quartz here, look. So I just completed a quest because I located a crimson forest in the nether. So we will claim all of this stuff. And yeah, free monies. I'll keep the sack on me for a minute though. So I just kind of made a bit of a dirt path all the way up to the top here. Oh god, there's gas down here. Just so I could get some glowstone because... Oh Christ, it's happening. Get out of here, Dad! <laughs> I just wanted to get some glowstone because I wanted to tell you it, 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 you could sell it for a dollar each. Which isn't that bad. But there is some other uses for it, like we can actually make our signs actually light up in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it's not really worth it, is it, Dan? Um, there's not really other uses, but obviously when we get down to the root of potions, we can obviously make our potions a bit stronger using glowstone. And not only that, I guess we could use glowstone as a light source. But anyway, the fortress is here. Oh god, there's a blaze as well. Okay. Oh, we've done it. Quest completed. Please, I want diamonds. Yeah, that's what I want, actually. I actually forgot we could get diamonds, to be fair. Oh my god, there's a blaze spawner right there. So we should be safe from any uh, wither skeletons right now. Now let's try out this sword. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. <laughs> Okay, Dan's a noob with the shield. Noted. <laughs> right, we could just grab him. There we go. Nice. That's that done. But I wanted to kind of see about using it with that. But I don't even know if this is worth it now. Um, we got some quests to claim as well. There we go. And we've also unlocked this one down here. So now, if we kill a load of blazes, we can actually get ourselves $25 each time. So maybe a blaze farm is actually a good idea to think about or something. I'm going to grab a few rods if I can, though. This sword's really fast. It's really good. I like this sword a lot. Okay, so why don't we just mark this off? Uh, spawner. Cool. Because when we come back here, once we've got Silk Touch, yeah, we can basically grab that spawner, essentially. Right, is that all I needed to do? I'm pretty sure it is, right? That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I would swear I've got, like, the best never ever. This is, like, crazy. Crazy, crazy good. Right, let's go back home. Um, which shouldn't be too hard to find. We just need to basically find... Oh, the spawn is, like, just down there, Look, Where was I going? Wait, what? <laughs> I never even knew it was right there. Oh, God, there's a blaze shooting me. Not sure this is a great idea, what I'm doing, but we have, in fact, actually located a bastion. So we'll claim all that. And we should probably start putting this monies away. Oh, God. Now, I'm not too sure if this is worth anything oh my god <laughs> ah! right i think i got away safely but yeah this is actually worth like five dollars each which is actually pretty decent but not only that you can actually crush this stuff down and get gold nuggets look which is quite nice so yeah gilded uh gilded blackstone is actually pretty uh pretty decent on this uh kind of world um rather than you know, just being a nice looking block. <laughs> right, I need to kind of get back down to the bottom of here. But what I'm going to do is probably gather these things. Because I like using these to get down. As if I was doing a water kind of 
Major League Gaming um, water bucket clutch thingy. I can just use these. So if we just do this. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try it again. There we go. That kind of worked because there was already one there. But yeah, you can basically do that with these. But not only that, I can use these when I get to the end to um, tower up quite easy by just bone mealing them. But anyway, we've made it back to our portal. We've got our blaze burner with a blaze in it. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, we, we actually successfully did not die in an ever, which is great. And the question is, this was all working while we wasn't here. So is there still monies in here? 11,000 now. Perfect. Um, right, let's turn all this into notes. That is actually quite a lot of money right there. I got 1,350 for that. Jeez. Right, so let's go back to my little checklist and have a look what other things we needed to do. So we've done that already. We've done that. We need to make a mixer now. Okay, okay. So let's turn this back on and let's have a quick little look at this. So we need to get a whisk. We need to get an andesite casing and we need a cog wheel. Um, this is pretty easy to be fair. It's just five iron. Yep, okay. Easy, easy stuff. I'm thinking about just setting this up very quickly just here. I always kind of thought I would just put it here. Ah, we're going to need to get some charcoal or coal to actually uh, fuel a little fella, right? So I just thought I'll use the couple of blaze rods I had spared just to cook up this um, log so I can get some charcoal. And the reason I want the charcoal is because this is how we can actually fuel this little fella look, as you can see. Um, once you do... Wow, it looks so much better now. <laughs> I've never seen that. And it tells you a timer up the top. That's fantastic. Um, I've never seen it with these little... Little bits here before. I've only seen it ever with his head. <laughs> it's almost like he's squidged in there, the poor little guy. Oh, God. That's actually really, really cool. But, yeah, we need to basically put a basin above that. And, yeah, what we're going to have to do is wash up some uh, gravel, right? Now, this is why I set all this up. Meow, meow. Grab a load of that. Get a load of iron, and we'll be good to go. So I slapped all the flint back into the storage and we actually got ourselves about 13 iron ingots out of that, which isn't that bad to be fair. Now, the problem is what I'm going to do now is turn this on. Yeah, it's going to start locking up because this thing, oh my God, it uses up quite a bit of stress, this thing. Um, so what we're going to do is probably just break one of these cogs for now. This is the easiest option. I am going to have to set up a clutch on there, probably, just so I can turn this on and off if I need to. But yeah, I think from memory it was five of these, right? Nice. So I've got 20 andesite alloys in the actual create little chest already, so this isn't going to be too hard to make this whisk, I don't think. Right, and I've got all the other bits now, and we should be able to make the mechanical mixer look nice. Um, so we can get rid of that, and the basin is very, very cheap. It's just five andesite alloys. Perfect. And that kind of knocks off all of those quests as well. So what is this actually branching out to now? It is, in fact, going to a bit of alloyed brass. Yeah, we need seven pieces. For what reason do we need seven pieces of brass? Hmm. Remember this recipe, you'll definitely need more. So in order to make actual um, brass, we actually need to mix up a bit of copper and a bit of zinc. And we get two pieces in exchange, which is heated on the blaze burner. That's why I wanted that. So, Mr. Blaze Burner, you're actually going to have to go down a level, I think, for this to actually work better for me. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, we need to put you under there, like that. Then we get a basin and put you on top of that. And then this thing needs to kind of be up one, right? Because this thing kind of comes down. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just hook this up with a cog like this, right? Oh, overstressed, as I predicted. Oh, dear. Um, okay, so we are going to have to turn off the money machine again for a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. We we're starting to have a bit of issues here with this. Um, uh, yeah, steam steam boiler is coming to... It's going to have to be next, I think. But this thing is going so freaking fast. That's probably why. <laughs> But basically, all we need to do is essentially just chuck in the stuff and it will just mix it up. So why don't we just take... Oh, there's 12,000 in here. Let's take six, right? For now, like that. And then if we do that, it should go in. And we got this uh, bag of money we got from the quest as well. We can just chuck that in as well. So we've got eight grand. So we need seven. So yeah, this should be able to do it, right? Because they're a grand each. Uh, so we need four of them and four of them. Boom. Nope, we don't want to sell it. There we go. We just bought it, Dan. <laughs> right, so all we need to do is chuck these in, essentially. Now, I'm wondering if I could put all four of these in at the same time. Probably. 
So they should go in, and then they should go in. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that, you, you need to heat it as well. Don't forget that part. I was like, why is it not working? Oh, yeah, this is working very fast. Easy. <laughs> we done it. We got some brass. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Okay. And now the reason we wanted uh, seven of these is to get seven brass casings. Now, we need these for mechanical crafters. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful brass color. Redstone can be bought from the shop. A quartz can be mined in a never or bought or so. The reason you want to get 21 mechanical crafters is for crafting the next thing. Now, every time you do this recipe, you always get free. Um, so yeah, the reason we need redstone and quartz is for this little electron tube. Yeah, I pretty much just rubbed all the money from the actual bank, um, as I'm calling it. Uh, yeah, we got 6,000 again. <laughs> hacks, I tell you, hacks. So I'm pretty sure it's eight of these per one of these little tubes. So, my God, we need so much of this stuff. That's it. That's all we need. We've done it. Okay, right. We'll put the rest in here. That's not a problem. And to be honest, I'm going to just launch this pickaxe over here for now because we don't really need that. Right. So what we need to do now is get some paper and sand. Now, I've actually got sugar cane in here, right? And what we can do is just chuck this in the actual mechanical press and it will turn it into paper for us. So that's that part done. But the other part is we need some sand to actually make the sand paper. Oh no, we can only afford one. Not sure that's going to cut it. We'll try it. Maybe it will. I'm not really too sure. Yes, I know this is way too much paper, but I may as well just make a load of it because we might need it again in the future. So I just realized I didn't actually put the exporter back on, so I'll just put that back on. <laughs> but yeah, we got the paper now, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we should be able to make sandpaper like this. Yeah, there we go. Now, from memory, we put this in our offhand or something like that, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. Oof, I'm not sure this is going to uh, work. Oh my god, it's like I'm actually eating it, Luke. <laughs> what is this? This is weird. So now we got our seven pieces of a polished rose quartz. We do need to actually get seven pieces of sheets, right? Iron sheets. Um, just so I can go ahead and make the mechanical crafters. Uh, so that's that. And it's for the tubes. Yeah, that's right. Let me turn you back off. Go back down here once again. And we're going to put this back on again. <laughs> oh, God. I, I really, really do need to set up clutches and all sorts of stuff here. This is just becoming madness now. There's too much attached to that one windmill, the poor thing. Right, anyway, we can make these little tubes like this. There we go. And then we just need a load of crafting tables, I think it is. Yes, I know what you're thinking, Dan. You're very messy. Yeah, you, you're basically running around with all this stuff in your inventory. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Yeah, I just cleaned it up. Okay. But anyway, 21 of these. Done. Not a... Well, not the crafter. <laughs> Obviously, the new crafter block. But anyway, what are crushing wheels good for? Crushing, of course. Um, These things are very, very expensive to make, though. Uh, Yeah, we basically need to set up 21 of these in a certain pattern like this. And feed it all of these things and it kind of like brings it all together and it makes the crushing wheels but you do get two when you only do it once if you know what i mean so i say it's very expensive but it's not really because you can just pretty much buy everything right as long as i got the dough right i'm not sure if i've actually got a lot of money's left to be fair um yeah we're getting a bit poor now the problem we're gonna have right now is these things they kind of do have a bit of stress problems um but they're not that much impacting so I'm probably going to ditch all of this right now, um, just for this reason, just so I can get this crafted, because I will set all of this up properly off camera, I think. And to be honest, I think what I'm going to be doing is probably making, I don't know, maybe another windmill somewhere or something, um, just so I can uh, do this without having issues, or at least kind of somewhat uh, organize this a little bit better off camera, I think, is probably the best thing I need to do right but anyway we need to kind of set up this so i'm probably going to just set this up right here right oh no i've just realized something though we are going to need to craft something and that is what i haven't actually crafted yet is the actual wrench um what an idiot um i'm going to actually need to craft that because we're not going to be able to do this very well so what do we actually need for this thing we need actually gold sheets aha uh -huh. okay Right, let's go ahead and make this wrench. So I think it's something like this. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Finally, we got the wrench. But yeah, we need this wrench because we need to actually start turning all of these things to actually bring all this together. 
like so. I don't know why I'm aiming on that. So we need to actually give us an exit point as well, but I'm going to go this side. So we need to make sure all of these things are facing those ways. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Perfect. Now we've actually got these spare cogs here, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, uh, is this going to be too powerful? I'm scared it's going to be. Oh no, it is. It's way too fast for it. <laughs> oh no! Um, oh dear. There is actually a way to stop this from happening, and that is with this rotation speed controller. And the problem is, we do need to get a precision mechanism. Yeah, which is uh, not rabbit hole completely, but it is very, very, very expensive for me right now. Um, because of these brass hands. Yeah, we need four sheets per one. I need to do that by three. Plus, I need more quartz and all that stuff. Then I need to get these deploys, which again, these depots, sorry, they're not very expensive. Um, but yeah, then I need to get a piece of gold as well. All of this just to slow this thing down. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is just <clears throat> break a wall <laughs> in the mill and hook this up here somewhere instead. Just to save myself a bit of time and, a, you know, a bit of a, a carnage. I'm just going to do that, I think, instead. Right, I'm just aligning these last little ones. There we go. So, the item should pop out over here somewhere. Um, okay, I think in theory that's it. But yeah, I had to actually go down the bottom and break my fan as well because it was overstressed or something, which is a bit weird. Um, I guess the more of these you actually put, it counts as 104 per one of them. Is that how this works? I thought it was uh, the whole thing was only 104. Okay, I've learned something new. Um, but yeah, we need to go basically get a load of andesite and we don't have a lot of monies right now um so yeah we're gonna have to basically sell a load of flint to get some oh wow we're actually gonna be able to make a crushing wheel in a minute oh god this is exciting right so one two three four and then the piece of stone goes in there and i believe all of these just kind of go everywhere else right did i really need 27 i didn't need 27 <laughs> Done! You made way too many. But yeah, that is crafting very, very fast. But I love this animation so much. Done! Perfect. And we get two crushing wheels, look. Beautiful. And that quest has been completed. Just look at this giant thing in my hand. What is that? Yeah, basically I could use these to uh, crush up uh, different stones and stuff to get different resources. So if I look at the uses of this, you can see there's so many recipes for this. Basically, you think you can crush it? Just give it a go. <laughs> But yeah, this actually uh, has another cool use, which I'm not going to show you in today's little episode. I'll show you in the next one, probably, if I can pull it off. Um, might be a bit of a challenge, though. But yeah, we can actually crush down the sheets as well, which is quite interesting. I don't know why you would do that, but maybe you managed to get them or some sort of way. I'm not really too sure, but Blackstone look can give you never write fragments, which is quite a good one. But anyway, this quest actually branches out to all these different stones here. And yeah, there's some special stones that get added in to create, as you can see, these four little colored ones here. And for example, if I go on this red one, which is Crimsite, if you chuck this into the actual crusher, and if I look at the uses here, um, you can actually have a chance of getting raw iron from this, which then you can basically cook this up and it will turn it into an ingot. So essentially, if we can figure out a way of obtaining this, we could basically get iron without washing it, if you know what I mean. But what did Dan go ahead and do? He made a custom generator recipe for it. So essentially, if you know how to make a basalt generator in Minecraft using uh, blue ice, right, and soul sand, you could basically do it the same sort of way. So if you've got water and lava and this catalyst block underneath it, which is an iron sheet block, it will produce crimsite. Now, you can also sell this stuff for $5 each, which is... I might need to change that. It's a bit ex <laughs> it's a bit expensive, really, for the for the, what it is, because it's quite easy to obtain once you've got all this set up, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is just obtained by nine of these sheets, so you need nine ingots to go ahead and make this, so it's not too bad to actually make. And then, yeah, basically, what we can do is basically just set up a load of different farms for this. So yeah, we can get one here for gold, we can get one here for zinc, and we can also get one here for copper as well. They're all kind of similar sort of recipes, apart from one of them is a bit different and that is the actual zinc one because there isn't actually um 
like a, a sheet block, if you know what I mean, for that. So I had to just kind of do a brass one for the Azurine one, which is a bit more on the expensive side. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to make it, you do what you want. But then this last one here is Honeystone, which is actually in fact Limestone. But if you replace water in a standard cobblestone generator with lava, um, with liquid uh, honey, sorry. So it's liquid honey and lava, it will make um, limestone, which is not crushable, unfortunately, but you can actually sell it for quite a lot of muddies, which is quite good. But anyway, let's get back to the checklist here. So we've created that. We have in fact done that. We've in fact done that. I've already done that off camera anyway. Um, but I really, I'm going to untick that actually. I really need to sort all this uh, windmill situation out. It's a bit of a mess right now. And uh, we've also got the crushing wheels, as you can see, they're in my hand. But yeah, setting these things up will not be too much of a problem. But it's going to probably require me to actually go ahead and, unfortunately, not deconstruct this, but really cut back on it and probably make a second windmill. Um, or at least start investigating into the next tier up which is in fact the steam engine. Now we've probably got access to everything. We can do this. Yeah, we definitely can do this. Um, wow, you can get up to 65,000 stress units with this thing. <laughs> it's probably something we're gonna think about next episode maybe is a steam engine. To be honest, I'm really um, looking forward to that because uh, yeah, that's something I've only done like once in my whole time playing with Create. So yeah, a bit of a noob here with that. <laughs> But yeah, it should be fun. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today, unfortunately. Sure, it's a little bit of a shorter one than normal. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, catch you hopefully in another one this week anyway. Don't worry. And uh, yeah, I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye. And we got all of this set up and we got brass. Yes. Woohoo. Oh, we're going to be seriously making some money. And these things are so big. Look at them. But I've got to be really careful with them because if I fall in that, it'll be GG and I will die. Because these things can kill you. They've killed me before in other playthroughs. <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.